Okay. This is a weekend batch and uh, two hours daily. I mean, two hours per session, right? I'm I'm giving you all the details. I'm giving you all the details. Okay. Okay, so let's begin with the session now and uh, this is the session that we are going to start with. It's about the Oracle SQL and PL SQL. Before this, I am Santos and uh, it's more than 15 plus years of experience in this industry. At present, I am working with a company, having some time. So I am also providing the training, especially on the weekend. This particular batch that we are going to start with, it's about the Oracle SQL and PL SQL. It's about the developer track. Remember, suppose someone is trying to learn the Oracle they can start the oracle learning the developer track either it can be the developer track or it can be the dba track dba track is altogether it's a different story here you need to be the master with the network you need to be the master of the operating system especially the linux and all and then you are going to learn the db and all it's a completely different profile what we are going to learn about we are going to learn about the developer track under the developer track, we are going to learn about the Oracle SQL and PL SQL. So first of all, like so many times people are asking me the question, Santos, why I am going to take your training? Already so many contents are there on the internet. So many contents are available on the YouTube. What is the advantage of uh, like doing your training? So first of all, this one is going to be the live session. After every session, you people are going to get the recording. The second thing, see, I don't need to increase the subscription. I don't need to increase the view. What I am going to teach you in the entire session is the practical thing that normally in the industry we need to do. We need to work on that. Either it's in the SQL or in the PL SQL. Course content wise, we have the enough content. We have the enough content that we are going to learn during the entire session. So first of all, during the like we are going to start with the SQL. Before the SQL, we are going to learn about the basic of the database. What exactly the database is? What are the different categories in the Oracle? Like in Oracle, we have the SQL, we have the SQL star plus and we have the PL SQL. Once we are going to start, then we have like a Oracle installation. That's also the challenge. So regarding the Oracle installation, regarding the live environment of the Oracle, everything we are going to learn first. And then from the second session, we are going to learn with the SQL command. Under the SQL command, first of all, we are going to learn about the select statement. This is the most important thing we have. Select statement on the basis of select statement, some other topic is based. So at first, we need to learn about all the basic of the select statement, how we are going to apply the where condition, how we are going to apply the order by, group by, aggregate function. After that, we are going to learn about the DML, DDL and TCL. DML, DDL, TCL, DML means data manipulation language. We are going to learn about the insert, update, delete, merge. DDL means create, alter, drop, rename, truncate, flashback, purge. TCL means transaction control language. We are talking about the commit, rollback and save point. We are also going to learn about the locking, the different types of locking and all. Row level lock, table level lock and all. It's related with the transactions. After that, we are going to learn about the row function. 
we have the two types of function mainly we have the three types of functions are there we have the group function we have the row function and we have the analytical function other function is also there under the analytical function one is like we have the ranking function so we have the different categories of the function so that we are going to learn so after this we are going to learn about the row function we are going to learn about the analytical function we are going to learn about the ranking function we are going to learn about the ranking function after this we are going to learn about the constant primary key foreign key not null unique check default foreign key row level like we can apply the constant on the table level or on the column level we are going to learn about the composite concept we are going to learn about the deferred constant the deferring constant so lot of things are there in the constant after this constants we are going to learn about the join we have the different category of the join is there like we have the oracle standard join and we have the sql 99 standard join under the oracle standard join we have the eq join non eq join auto join and self join under the sql 99 standard join we have the inner join left outer right outer full outer and cross join natural join we have the cartesian product also that we are going to learn with the join we are also going to learn about the set operator like we have the union we have the intersect we have the minus we have the union all and then we are going to start with the sub queries we have the different types of sub queries there like single row sub queries multi row sub queries multiple column sub queries correlated sub queries so we are going to learn all the details about the sub queries uh, remember this particular things like the join and the sub queries you need to be the master to be successful in the software industry na you need to be the master with the join and the sub queries it's always as a developer you need to write the sub queries and the join this is the most important thing and before this join and sub queries definitely you you should have the clear understanding about the select statement the set operators and all so we are going to learn about this after that we are going to learn about the indexing we are going to learn about the view we are going to learn about the sequence this is the first portion of the sql that we are going to complete after that we are going to start with the pl sql portion under this pl sql portion at first we are going to learn about the basics how to apply the if how we are going to apply the for loop how we are going to apply the while loop after this basic we are going to learn about the collection framework like how we are going to use the pl sql table how we are going to use the nested table the vra the pl sql record percentage type percentage row type after that we are going to learn about the cursor explicit cursor implicit cursor cursor with parameter parameterized cursor cursor with where current of and for update so we are going to learn about that after this we are going to learn about the exception handling how we are going to handle the exceptions after this we are going to learn about the stored procedure we have the in mode we have the out mode we have the in out mode so we are going to learn about the stored procedure we are going to learn about the function we are going to learn about the package package is nothing it's a kind of container and within the package you are going to put the procedure and the functions so we are going to learn about the package after that we are going to learn about the trigger trigger is a kind of pl sql block that will execute automatically trigger is a kind of pl sql block that will execute automatically used to put certain restrictions or validations over the table or tables column if i want to validate suppose today is the 15th august it's a holiday in india so I don't want like anyone is going to enter the data in EMP table. I need to restrict that. I need to stop that. How we can do that? I am going to put the trigger on the table. So the trigger is going to stop your insert command. So we are going to learn about the trigger. After this, the few other things are there that we need to work on. What we need to work on? We need to work with the object data type. How we are going to use the object? How we are going to use the lob? how we are going to use the partition how we are going to use the partition how we are going to take the backup how we are going to use the sql loader sql loader how we are going to use the export import how we are going to use the regex 
and then finally we are going to understand about the architecture of the oracle suppose you are writing the sql command how this sql command is working in background what are the process what are the mechanism over there like you are writing the select statement your select statement has to cross the three multiple steps three steps are there that they need to pass it's going to be the parse execute and fetch so we are going to understand all the architecture architecture means what we are talking about the oracle memory we are talking about the oracle background process and we are talking about the oracle files how many oracle files are there what are the different background process over there what are the category of the oracle memories are there so we are going to understand during this entire session during this entire session even in the session itself i am going to tell you like okay these are the important question and believe me that's going to be your important question 80% of the question that i am going to tell you in the session people are going to ask you so 80% of the interview question is already ready with you and remaining question it can be anything but 80% or 90% of the interview question is going to be ready in the session itself what you need to do like you just need to go through with the recording you need to go through with the notes that's it and everything is get completed at your end finally once our architecture and all these things get completed here we are going to work with a small project why i am saying a small project because project can be anything but in oracle it's only the back end so what we can do we can work with the back end portion of the oracle because any project is consist of front end and the back end here we are not talking about the front end we are talking about the back end so as a back end as a back end developer what you people need to do like you need to design the table you need to build the relation you need to create the er diagram as a database diagram you need to put something in front of them so you need to create the er diagram and finally you need to create the package you need to create the package and within the package you are going to put the procedure and function and all so we are going to work on that so you can get the complete flow like as a pl sql developer if you are going to join any organization what you need to do as a normal developer as a data analyst what are the things you need to do so we are going to learn all these things practically so this is the entire course content we have content wise it's more than enough for you if you are going to show like in any interview if you are going to ask them like you are going to like you have the experience of 3 plus year with the database you people are going to justify that because everything will be there all the critical question all the typical questions everything will be there even in the session itself as per some example as per example suppose we have we are talking about the constant my question is we have a table and suppose the table is going to contain the department number and department number is 10 and again it's 10 again it's 10 and again it's 20 again it's 20 again it's going to be 20 or 30 my question is can you apply the primary key on department number my question is can we put the primary key on department number already we have the duplicate values and i am going to tell you yes we can do that how we can do that i will show you all the details i am not going to remove this then it will be there in the table i am not going to remove the duplicate it will be there in the table and we are going to do that so what i am trying to say suppose what i need to do suppose what i need to do we have the table in the table we have the location like my question is suppose we are working in a company and my company is located in some different location it's in delhi it's in hyderabad it's in bangalore it's in dubai now company is asking me santosh you need to create a master table for all the employee i am going to create the master table so first of all i am going to put the employee number i am going to put the employee name i am going to put the salary and i am going to put all the detail and i am going to make the employee number as a primary key but we have the problem the problem is employee number 1 it's also available in 
Delhi and imply number one is also available in Dubai okay so imply number one multiple imply number one is there then what is the solution what I need to do I need to put the location column over there I need to put the location column over there and what I'm going to do in here I'm going to put the location Delhi and here I'm going to put location Dubai and further what I need to do I need to create the primary key so what I will do I will make the composite primary key by the use of location as well as the imply number and in the combination we are going to create a primary key that is the composite primary key suppose when I'm talking about the trigger everyone will tell you like uh, trigger is basically for the DML operation insert update delete my question is can you stop the drop can you stop the drop I, I want like no one can drop anything from my database can I do this yes I can do this by the use of trigger so all these kind of things will be there in the session itself so no need to worry about I am taking all these Oracle session from last 15 plus years I am working with this Oracle I am taking all these sessions from last more than 15 years is around 20 years so you don't need to worry about I am not going to do any research with you like R&D with you so this is the entire contents we have all the typical questions all the interview level question that people can ask you up to this year of experience I am going to cover everything I am going to cover everything all the typical question lot of questions and answer and assignment we are going to complete on these questions like join and sub queries you are going to solve around 200 questions for the join and 200 questions for the sub queries so a lot of questions and answers will be there so no need to worry about you just need to attend the session and you need to complete the things that's it our this particular session will be on Saturday and Sunday only this particular session it will be on Saturday and Sunday only what I will do I will create a separate whatsapp group in that whatsapp group you people are going to connect and there I am going to share the notes and recording and everything notes and recording everything suppose you have some problem anytime you can text me over there 24 by 7 so no need to worry about anytime you can text me whenever I will get some time I will answer your question suppose your session get completed and once again after three months you want like you need to revise some particular topic you can attend any particular batch multiple batches is going on so you can attend the session again for the particular topic so that's not a problem so this is the entire story our session is going to be like normally our session will be on Saturday on Saturday it's going to be from 5 on Sunday if you people will agree on that I will keep this session in the like uh, it's around 11 a.m. IST slightly early so you people are also going to be free I will be also free so it's a Saturday and Sunday we have the session Saturday from 5 p.m. IST and our session will be from of two hours but remember one important thing I am not a kind of person that who is going to focus on the two hours it's all depends on the particular topic suppose I am going to take the topic sub queries and it's going to take some time we are going to extend the session suppose I am going to take the join and it's get completed in one and a half hour further I am not going to overload you because my purpose my target is not the time and I don't think it's going to be the time for anyone it's the important thing is you should have the understanding of the concept because I don't need to do anything I just need to write all the things like I'm writing over here I'm going to tell you I'm going to teach you I'm going to write everything in front of you I'm going to do all the things practically in front of you and you will get the clear understanding of that but again the thing is that like you people need to do the practice so always I'm going to consider this thing in the point like all the sessions should be the it should not be the bouncer kind of stuff it should going to be the good length okay so we are going to work on that so our session will be from 5 p.m. it's a two hour session Saturday and Sunday session and uh, regarding the fee for this particular course is going to be 
3800 actually i am charging for this particular course the entire oracle sql and pl sql normally i am ch charging higher but right now it's a you can say like it's a and it's a, every time like in some independence of and because some of the people they are asking for this and all so i am telling like right now you have the discount so the fee is going to be 3800 so this is all the information from my side so if you have any questions any queries so please let me know any questions from your side Yeah, it's three thousand eight hundred. I know. Yeah, Nitiraj. Uh, the fees is three thousand eight hundred. I know. I N R. Yes. Okay. It's okay. not in your dollar. <laughs> <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> no, no. Our our side also rupee. Our side also rupee. Yeah. Yeah, Shashi Kant. Any questions? Sometimes, sir. Uh... राइट नो you people are there one or two people are there so that's my adjustment so no need to worry about we will keep the time same time 5 pm ist yeah because this will be uh, yeah, yeah i got it got it got it i was not uh, yeah i was not aware of that so it's going to be like a saturday and sunday session it's 5 pm ist we are going to do this uh, okay and regarding this fee payment uh, this uh, one time you have to pay yeah yeah it's a one time and uh, so, uh, so i so hope that uh, this will uh, this course will help me to claim as a pl sql developer right yeah 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 it's basically in the entire thing basically it's linked with the sql it's not basically the dva other than the dva whatever the requirement is there as a data analyst as a developer everything is there oh, oh. Because the DVA all together is a different story, and for the DVA yes, yes, yes. also I need the different hardwares and all, and I am not the DVA, yes, yes. so basically I am not making any kind of false commitment or any kind of false informations in front of you people, because I understand like yes. uh, see, I am telling you Sasikant like uh, it's always a challenge for us to because we are taking the online session, we are all uh, like I am already working in the company and uh, getting some time on Saturday and Sunday I am taking all these session. uh but uh, this is a task for us like i need to build the confidence in you people and so that's why like <laughs> satisfaction is important yeah so that's why i am not taking anything extra that i uh, the commitment any commitment extra that i cannot fulfill whatever the things i am writing in front of you everything will be as it is or you people are going to get more than that so for practical thing you will get access right some yeah, 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 yeah. people developer yeah 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 like uh, perfectly fine okay okay so nitiraj and sashikant what i will do uh we will start this session from 5 pm coming saturday okay okay yeah saturday will be the first session we have from 5 pm ist mm -hmm. saturday and sunday okay. we will start with the session mm -hmm. yeah or in in meantime Sir, if you have any queries any question you can text me you can call me yes. also like my number is also there in the group i am the admin of that particular group i the, in the community i am talking about you can also text me personally we can talk certification sir we can go for certification yeah, of yeah, the course perfectly boss i will i will yeah. i will give all the details of the certification easily you people can do yeah. that all the dumps and everything yeah. is there with me my students from okay. the usa maximum of them they are doing the certification in the first time in the first attempt so no need to worry yes. about we are going to cover more than that certification okay okay sir okay so whatever the course content that you have 